So I'm here to give you guys my overall impressions of episode 14 of Shogun of Shana. I have to say, I really kind of really kind of confused if Shana is a human or maybe she's an alien or something like that or something. But it looks to me, it looks to me that she came from up above or something like that. I, I don't know because I don't know Shogun of Shana lore really all that much because I really don't know. I think the the episode was just trying to point out like there, there was like a maid who was taking care of her or something like that. I have no idea if Shokin Oshana does have have a mom or a dad or maybe some family members that the she she may know. All she all she has is like this maid is supposed to supposed to take care of her and and stuff. So so yeah. But I, I still like to wonder why of the like wonder why I'm like how come she does not have no parents and and that's just that's that's just what I'm a little confused about. She's like, if she does not have no parents, then how was she born into the world? Like, like that. That's what I'm kind of wondering and something like that. Or maybe she was born in the world because she, maybe her parents must have abandoned her or or something like that. Or or maybe their parents were were, were dead or something like that. I, I have no idea. There's there's just so many questions I want to ask about ask about that. Like, I think there's like they're showing the, um, her past, like. You know, so in like uh, when she used to stay up uh, up above, you know, this floating castle, and you know, everything belongs to her. And I believe, uh, I believe the um, uh, Alistair, the Alistair of the Flame, who's basically looking after, looking after, um, looking after um, Ashana. I, I, I would assume that Alistair is probably some kind of guide or something like that, or maybe maybe her guide is supposed to help her out with. You know her da her daily things and what she's supposed to do, and I'm also kind of curious, like, uh, how did she get her powers? Like, how she became like so powerful? Like, she she really is, and you know, and when when she when she puts on that that coat and then she takes out her sword out, you know, and then she put it back in. It's it's kind of like a magic trick or something like that. So that's what I that, that's why I'm assuming it's to be, but uh, yeah, it's just it, um the overall the episode is. There's not really much to really talk about. It's just not really that much to really talk about. I just figured I just want to do, you know, just want to do like an episode review of this episode. Like, uh, if you guys can help me out, like, understand, like, did Shogun Oshana have parents? Did her parents abandon her? Or does her parent love her? Or, or something? I have no idea. I really don't. I'm serious. I have no idea. I mean, I really don't know because I don't know if the Light Gnomes has, has said anything about this or something. Or, or maybe we just. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of just kind of confused. Maybe you guys can help me out here. And uh, I would love for you guys to comment my video down below. Like, give me some help. Like, like tell me, like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Like, she's, she has to wear this pink outfit, but she does not like it. She does not like wearing that pink outfit or, or anything like that. She doesn't like it because, because it gets in the way of her, you know, what she's doing or her karate and stuff like that. Martial arts and stuff like that. And stuff. Um, she was battling this the skeleton kind of guy. I, I believe that was her her guardian or something like that, or basically supposed to teach her like how to do you know karate and and, and all this all those jazzes and stuff. Uh, I I wonder if she if she had the sword for a very long time because we all know that's basically one of her trump cards is by using the sword and she could just use it like you know like like flames and stuff like that and you know it's just that that's based for what i do know uh like i said for in my other view i'm really kind of curious about i don't know if this is really actually confirmed or not i, I believe i saw I believe i saw something on anime news network that they were planning on continuing the light novel series which could possibly could mean that we could get a season four of soki no shana maybe sometime soon Maybe sometime soon, or maybe sometime later in the future. Maybe like 2023 or 2024. I have no idea. I really don't know. I mean, nobody doesn't you know what's going to happen in 2024. <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> so, so yeah, and um, so I was like, uh, yeah, I, I, I like this anime really a whole lot. I really do love Shoki no Shana. I really do like her. Really do like her a lot. But I just wish that, like I said before in my my previous review, I wish she wish I wish she, she will be more confronted about her feelings about her feelings to Shido, and you know because you know Shido is a very important character in the anime, where she has the Midnight Lost Child, and people some of these some of these other bad guys are want wants um, Shido's um, gift of uh, the 
uh, the lost child, Mid uh, the midnight of the lost child. That's basically what it's called. Because I, I have no idea what the midnight of the lost child is supposed to do. It, it's like uh, like they showed in previous episodes. They they showed in previous episode that 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 he uh, once he runs out of energy, like when his spirits runs out of energy, and when it hits midnight, and then all of a sudden you know the the midnight of the lost child re re regenerates back up, and he gets back to his health and. And and his his life. I mean, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like he's gonna die, and then and then all of a sudden he just regained back all his strength up, and like he's like, yeah, I'm all better, or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna die, and you know, and, and stuff. Like, uh, it's just I'm kind of curious. Like, is this really is this the minute of the lost child is really gonna help him overcome some battles? You know, he may need to do, and what what kind of powers he will develop up. I guess we won't know that until like season two, which I will get into season two sometime very very soon. And if I ever do have the time, get in season two. So I, I don't know. I, I just I'm just I, I just think this this anime is really really good. It's very very good. But I don't see any flaws with this anime for whatsoever at all. It's it is doing pretty good for a 2005 series or maybe 2006. Uh, I don't know 2005 or 2006. I think that's when it first came out. And then. Like 2007 or 2008, it came out season two, and then season three came out like 2009 to 2010. So yeah, and then the movie came like 2011, maybe 2012, right around there at least. I think so. I'm not really so sure, but uh, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy watching Shoki no Shai. It's a, it's a very good classic. It's a very good um, retro anime from back then, and I, I really do enjoy it. I really do. I really do enjoy this anime really a whole lot. And uh, like I said before, you know, I've I seen some parts of season two, but I have not seen a whole lot of season two, so I have not. So, so yeah. And also wanted to bring up one last thing before I end this, before I end this review. I'm really kind of curious, is that the, the, the brother and girl complex, um, sister and brother complex, are they going to show up back in the next episode or, or the next previous episode? Or are they dead or something like that? I have, I have no idea. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But. Yeah, anyways, this is Unnoix, anyways, um, that's the end of this uh, end review, so anyways, this is Unnoix, anyways, I'll see you guys there, take care, I hope you guys have a day, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please leave a like on the video, please give it a thumbs up, please click on the notification bell, also as well too, and uh, please leave your comments down below, maybe you guys can help me out, like, learn and understand, maybe Shauna probably did have some parents or, or something like that, or maybe some family members that she probably know, or something like that, or maybe her parents must have abandoned her. I, I don't know. I, I'd like to like to hear what you guys have to say. So, so, so yeah. But anyways, uh, anyways, um, uh, please be respectful down in the comments down below. I would appreciate it if you guys do that. And so yeah, anyways, this is, anyways, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. And remember, Jesus love you. I love you guys. Love you guys. Please be safe. Stay away from all this crazy around the world. And remember, stay blessed. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.